Welcome back to EKTV and we are here at Istanbul Blockchain Week with Mr. Alex from Nemo. Hello Mr. Alex, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I've had a wonderful few days in Istanbul and the conference has been fantastic so far. Thank you. That's awesome. Is it your first time to be in Istanbul? It is. I have I arrived a couple of days ago and have been able to um, meet up with a few partners and locals that have taken me around and I've really, really enjoyed my time so far. That's pretty amazing. So what can you say about the Turkish community so far? I think that probably like one word that jumps out to me is just curious. I've, I've seen a lot of people come up to the booth and a lot of people are really interested in what we're doing. It stands out amongst you know many of the other crypto projects and people are just eager to learn more and go deeper on what we're building. That's amazing. So before we dive deeper into Demo, can you please tell us a little bit of introduction about Demo? We're building the first open source connected vehicle platform. And what that means is we're taking the infrastructure that car makers and insurance companies and used car marketplaces have used to gather automotive data in silos. We're taking that and we're creating an open platform for it. So on the one hand, we have drivers that connect and can store their own vehicle data, which is very valuable. And on the other hand, we have developers which can leverage that data, build applications for those drivers and build businesses on top of our platform. That's great. So speaking about that, how has the success and feedback from drivers in the US, Canada and Europe influenced your decision to launch in Turkey? Many of the drivers that we have today have been really just amazed and had their eyes opened by the fact that their cars produce all of this data. Um, and the fact of the matter is that cars are one of the most expensive items that you own, whether you're in the US or in Turkey. Um, so the feedback that we've received from our early community and the growth that we've had has just reinforced our, our commitment and our like conviction that we're on the right trail. Um, and we know that Turkey is a market of very tech savvy people that are eager to use their data, that are eager to build solutions. Um, and so we found that wherever we can find those pockets of people, uh, we can find great community members. That's great that you are always willing to expand and share the values, you know, to, to everywhere in the global and also Turkish market. So can you please shed a light on how the Demo app empowers Turkish drivers differently than traditional vehicle data platforms? There's a couple of layers to that. So the first, of course, is that Demo being an open platform makes it really easy for you to move your data from place to place. Uh, when you sign up with a traditional telematics platform, all of your data goes into their warehouse and that's it. That's where it stays. Uh, with Demo, you're in control. If you want to switch from the Demo mobile app to one of our other applications, to one of the other partners, it's very easy to do. But I think speaking with people here in Turkey and, and really listening to what people have to say, one of the most important concerns and one of the things that we've set out from the very beginning to address is the cost of ownership of a car. They are expensive. And here in Turkey, concerns about cost of ownership and, and the currency are really top of mind for everybody. Um, so in creating this reward system, which is the only reward system that exists for vehicle owners, um, we're giving people a way to save money, offset the value or offset the expense of their car and actually become um, more responsible owners in the process. That's great to know. So how do you envision Turkish drivers benefiting from rewards and incentives offered by Demo, especially when they share their driving data? Some of the use cases that we really love to illustrate this are, are maintenance and insurance. Um, these are some of the most common use cases that people have, or two of the areas that people spend the most money on their car. So when you book with maintenance providers that we have in the US, you actually share your car data with the maintenance provider. Uh, they'll handle your maintenance, give you a code, give you a great service, and then they actually give you some demo tokens back. So here you are earning a reward point um, just for taking care of the maintenance that you have to spend money on anyway. Um, our focus over the next couple of weeks and, and months as we expand and grow in Turkey is to bring those kinds of providers to the marketplace here. We've got many in the US and we're growing there, but we want to bring maintenance providers, insurance companies, used car marketplaces, all of these companies that want data. They're really interested in also providing users back a little bit of a little token of respect and gratitude that they're able to share that data. So we think that that's going to be an immensely popular feature of demos here in Turkey. That's great. So transitioning to our talks about the West market. So with over 20,000 drivers onboarded in the West and a dozen marketplace partners. So in comparison to this, what unique offerings and partnership does Demo plan to bring here in Turkey? 
We're really going to start with the basics. I mean, like I said, maintenance, insurance, these are some of the, call them boring aspects of, of owning a car, but it's the areas where we can have the biggest impact on on people's, uh, uh, you know, costs. Uh, one thing from being in traffic in Istanbul, we hear a lot of people that are interested in creating car sharing programs, building those on top of Demo. Um, we'd really love to work with local developers to create some of those. Um, and then, of course, there's some localization that happens just in, um, you know, addressing the specific kinds of cars that are unique to the Turkish market. Um, we've actually been meeting with dealerships and with um, other local partners that have a lot of other ideas in the tourism industry and other places where um, vehicle data is going to be particularly impactful for the Turkish fleets and drivers that um, we're talking about uh, signing up. Definitely. I totally agree with you in terms of the traffic in Istanbul. I experienced it firsthand yesterday. So um, with this, can you explain more about the demo tokens? How do they work and how do the drivers earn and utilize them? So first and foremost, the demo token is a governance token. Uh, it is the way that people vote on what's happening at the protocol layer in demo. The token is earned by drivers just for connecting their car. It's sort of a baseline, thanks for coming. Uh, and then they can earn more of the token as they actually use the marketplace. So if you book maintenance and other things, you get to earn the token. Uh, you can also spend the token over time. And those companies that are providing services, they're actually paying to access the data from the users. So if I go and share my data to a car marketplace where I'm going to sell my car, they're paying to access that. Tokens are burned. Uh, and there's a tokenomic model that's meant to be sustainable to create this reward point for drivers that, as I said, you know, offsets the value of their uh, or, or the cost of owning a car. That's great. So um, as Demos, Demo expands globally, what challenges and opportunities do you foresee, particularly in diverse markets with varied levels of tech adoption? So can you please elaborate on that? The first challenge of going to any new market is actually to identify what kinds of cars are there that aren't in the US or Europe or elsewhere where we've been before. And there actually can be quite a bit of differences in terms of how those cars are, you know, what kinds of cars exist. There can be differences in how those cars are connected. It can be really common in a market like in South America to have immobilizers or simple connected devices to manage uh, the driving of the vehicle. Uh, in other markets, it's very uncommon to have those. Uh, we see smart home technology, which we use as very much as a comparable to what we're doing with Demo, making smart cars. We see smart home technology at various levels of adoption. Uh, so one of the ways that we are focused on addressing that is actually working with local partners on hardware. So we've created an open hardware ecosystem, much in the style of, of Helium, if people are familiar with that project. And what that means is different hardware manufacturers can make different kinds of hardware for different markets. And that's really useful in some markets where you might want to spend more money for the hardware that does more things, or in other markets where you want cheaper, smaller hardware. Uh, we can actually work with a various numbers of providers to bring to market the right solutions for each country, for each region, um, just depending on what those customers need. Thank you for sharing that. It's very informative. So with Demo's vision of becoming a user-owned IoT platform, how do you see this reshaping the future relationship between vehicle owners and their data? We think it's going to create a relationship. Most people actually, uh, I've spoken to many people today who tell me, oh yeah, I, I have a BMW. I've never even opened the app before. And Often they'll tell me, oh yeah, I have the odometer in my app, my Mazda app. Um, that is 1% of 1% of the data that the car is, is generating. And there's a whole story, there's a whole ability to decode so much about the car if you can tap into it. And most users aren't thinking about that at all today. And we think that we can provide the platform that allows users to discover the power and the value of that data. So we think that it's really the start of the narrative versus um, a change. And we expect that over the next couple of years, we're going to see the first really mainstream consumer car applications come out, and they're going to be built on Demo. That's awesome. So talking about the Demo community, what should they be excited about and what's your message to the Demo community? 
There's a couple of things that we're really excited about happening in the remainder of this year. First, Turkey is the first stop on much more global expansion. We're planning to launch multiple countries this year. And then, of course, 2024 will be coming to many, many more. Um, we're also launching the developer platform. And that means not only that there will be more applications, more choices for users to, to use through Demo, but it also means we're starting to create the ecosystem and the economics of, of real value. Those businesses are showing up, paying drivers, uh, and that creates a, a virtuous cycle for everyone where those businesses are actually sustaining themselves, acquiring users, and the drivers are getting better features. So we're really excited about what the Turkey uh, launch represents and we're really excited to be here. Thank you very much. We're also excited to, to see what Demo is going to offer in the next few days, weeks, and years. So thank you so much for having us here. I hope you enjoy your stay in Istanbul. Thank you so much.